The city of Santa Rosa also issuing a disaster declaration. High water in some areas preventing AEP crews from restoring power to residents. The city barricaded several streets. They're asking residents to avoid driving on those streets unless necessary. A lack of electricity closed the first shelter they set up. A second shelter at Barrera Elementary along 107 is open for residents. And the American Red Cross opening shelters for families who need a place to stay tonight. These are the six locations, one in Willacy County, three in Hidalgo, and two in Cameron. If you plan to relocate to any of these shelters, make sure you bring everything you need. Addresses for these locations posted online at krgv.com. In Hidalgo County, the Emergency Management Office says Hidalgo County received more than 12 inches of rain overnight. Our drainage system is at full capacity currently up on the east side. So we're just watching that. Our drainage district is doing an awesome job trying to get that water moved into the, into the big drainage system to be able to alleviate some of this uh, water to, should we be impacted again. Saldana says it'll take almost 24 hours for the water to completely drain through the IBWC floodway. He recommends to take precautions, put personal belongings up higher than normal, and have your valuables and important documents ready to go if water is too high on your way home. Now remember, don't drive through flood water, turn around, don't drown. If you have an emergency, call the Hidalgo County Emergency Call Center at 292-7012.